Ever since I was a little boy, I've sung really, really high. For me, when I'm singing, I'm most free. There is such a joy, I can't even describe it. To get up and share my myself with the audience. It is one of the most amazing feelings. When I was growing up, I always sang in the soprano section of the choir at church. I was made fun of a lot because I sang really high. And I was always made fun of because I sang like a girl. But it never stopped me from doing the thing I loved. I've always known that I was supposed to be a singer. When my voice did change, I kept my soprano range. I just didn't know what the term for my voice type was called. I got to college and I sang for my teacher and she says, well, you're a countertenor. And I said, oh, that's the word for it. When we talk about male voices, we are talking about voices that range from the lowest voice, which would be the bass, bass baritone, baritone, high lyric baritone. And you have a tenor, au contre, which is a high tenor. And then you have a counter tenor. For some counter tenors, it is a falsetto. And for some of us, we are singing with our real voices. For me, I'm singing with the fullness of my range. My voice sits very high, and it's most comfortable when it's high. A lot of the music that I sing today is repertoire that comes from music that was originally written for castrati. The castrati were males who were castrated, which means that they were not allowed to go through puberty so that they wouldn't lose the ability to sing very, very high and it was done because there was a prohibition on women singing in church. So there's a dark side to it, but fortunately all that stopped. And now we have the countertenor voice which goes and sings a lot of that music. There are very, very few of us in the world. And so we are in high demand. 2011 was my first professional gig on stage. And then since then, I've gone on to do so many other things. I've sung at the Barbican in London, England. I've sung at the Philharmonie in Paris. I've sung all over the world. My life has been a story. It's a dream that I could have never imagined. I'm a multi-dimensional person, therefore my sound is multi-dimensional. It has variations in it. I have roots in the church, and I have roots with hearing beautiful jazz and R&B and blues. When I started singing classical music, one of the, the things that was a challenge for me was to kind of let go of the gospel let go of the jazz because I was such a part of who I was and still am. But then along the way, I also wanted to pay homage to my roots. And then it became a part of this intricate woven tapestry that is my life. And I've been able to incorporate so much of what I heard into my classical music. I'm really proud of my work and I'm so thankful for every opportunity that I've been given to shine. Let it shine.